Hi and welcome to Fiddlerman.com. This is a site where I'll teach you to play the violin for free. Today I want to talk about tuning the violin. It's kind of important, but I've never known anybody to teach that before, so I'm going to give it a shot. The first thing you want to do is get yourself a device to compare the 440A, which is the international standard for tuning, to your A, which is a second string on the violin. After you find that device, you're going to want to compare that note to your note. You can get yourself a tuning fork or a metronome with a 440 on it or if you have a piano at home that works fine and maybe the easiest way just bookmark my tuning note from my page and use it as much as you want. So you play that note, you play my note, you play the, the, the metronome or you use the tuning fork, hit it on your knee, put it up on the bridge and listen and compare to yours. Try to hear whether or not your A is too low or too high. If it's too low, obviously you're going to want to raise it. So you put it down the violin on your knee, you can pluck it at the same time, and you push that peg in while turning it. You turn it either clockwise if it's too low or counterclockwise if it's too high. So you find the right pitch, and if it's not much of a distance, if it's a minute distance, you'll use that fine tuner that some people have. Not everybody has a fine tuner on the A. Most people have a fine tuner on the E because it's a steel string. Steel strings, you can barely move them and they change pitch with uh, purlon strings or gut strings or wound strings. Usually, you, synthetic strings, you can usually turn them more before the sound actually changes. They stretch slightly. Once you find the proper A, you're going to want to compare that A to the next note, which is the D. So you play the two together and try to recognize a perfect fifth, which is what we have between the A and the D. It should sound something like that. My D is a little low now, so... Then when you find that distance, you go on and tune the D and the G string, which is the same relationship. It's a fifth, a perfect fifth. So if you have relative print pitch, this is going to be easy for you. Should sound something like that. Then you do the same thing between the A and the E. Now, you won't be able to tune it the way I'm doing right now, at least not in the beginning and without practice. So you can do the same thing, plucking it and turning the string, the pegs while holding the violin. And um, if you're gonna do what I do, you can think about it even when you're changing your strings that you set it up, set your violin up so the pegs are in such a position that you can comfortably hold them and push it in at the same time. That's what I always do when I change my strings. Then, for those of you who will not be able to or have a very hard time listening to both notes at the same time, you can also use a piece that you know starts with a perfect fifth. I'll give you one of the most famous ones and that's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Starts with a fifth. Same thing between a D and the A. Same thing between the A and the E. So that's your lesson on how to tune a violin. I wish you good luck and thank you for visiting Fiddler Man.